Hello everybody, welcome back to Educate Africa, where we are keeping culture. And today we'll be going um, a bit away from keeping culture, but it's still on the culture in a way. And um, I would like to talk to the young people, young people generally, all over the world, but mainly my people in Africa. Yeah, the guys outside Africa, they still have a bit of opportunity, they have a bit of counseling free but i would like to do this general to everybody um before i go let me just introduce myself for those of you guys who have been following me and most of my students on my facebook you guys we identify with me i have taught for 10 years that's a decade as an art teacher and i've mingled with so many kids all over all over um, Nigeria, so I've, um, I've spoken to many of you guys, and thank God today, many of you has, have been communicating with me, me, and I've seen you guys are making serious progress, and that's 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 good for me, and I would like to do this to everybody. Um, like you guys know, my name still remains a you and a gamale, simply called. You are. I would like to ask all of you listening to me, and if you want to help me share this information, I would like to have a live, you know, live talk like this on my Facebook channel, which is um, a UR. If you log on to a UR, Malemi is E Y U W A, or you find Educator Free. Those two Facebooks will be live. On Saturday, next week Saturday, which is um, on the 11th and the other Saturday on the 18th of July 2020. And it's going to be between 5 and 6.30. An hour now live video. You guys can ask me questions and I'm going to help you guys discover a lot a lot and um, the reason why i'm doing this is i want to start to encourage young people so don't forget don't forget next saturday which is on the 11th of july 2020 and the other saturday on the 18th july 2020 don't forget 5 p.m uk time 5 p.m Nigerian time, I don't know that of Ghana, I think it's an hour different. So, but if you Google it 5 pm UK time, I would like to talk to young people. And so, I have this opportunity to speak to all of you if you want to ask me questions on in business, idea, talent, anything. I'm, I'm out for you now. The reason why I'm bringing this. I had the opportunity to travel back a few years ago and I found out that some of you guys are creating class uh, because you guys had the opportunity to finish with your friends in secondary school. Some had the opportunity to go higher, polytechnic, university. Some couldn't because of finance. Some couldn't because their, their IQ couldn't take them further in academics. Let me address this to all of you guys. It is success is not attached to um, academics alone. Success is attached to <clears throat> how well you could use what you have been given or gifted with. Even with your education, if you don't know how to commercialize what you've learned, at the university level, bet me, you'll be out there doing nothing. I've seen so many doctors, so many lawyers, so many accountants who are jobless because they cannot commercialize what well they, they study at the university. And some guys who have not even been to uni who are hairdressers, fashion designers, magnets, they are doing great despite the fact that they have no education. So the reason why I'm bringing this on board, I don't want you guys to start segregating yourself, making yourself feel this person is not 
in my class, but that person is not in my class. See, everyone at every point, we need somebody. We need each other. You cannot do any, everything on your own. And that's the reason why everybody cannot be a medical doctor or everybody cannot be in the legal industry. So we all need each other. So if you have the opportunity to study and be a lawyer or an accountant or a, a medical doctor, let me use these three skills for instance. And you have your friends who couldn't go higher in their education, maybe because they don't have the opportunity, they don't have the money, the parents is not there, or they don't have the high key to go further. And they tend to become fashion designer or hairdresser. At some point, and even all points, you need them because when you want to fix your hair, you need your barber. When you want to fix your car, you need your mechanic. When you want to sew your clothing, you need your fashion designer. So if you have a friend who is a fashion designer, for instance, you could easily call him and say, come, I need to get something something sewn for myself and that person because it's your friend you patronize him and when he or she have a problem in terms of legal it will call his legal friend to be there for him or her if you had a medical issue it could call his medical friend so you see why you guys need each other do not segregate do not create class yeah, I've seen some people who are just uh, a bricklayer who build people's houses and they are millionaire today and someone who is an accountant still sit in the office get paid every month and the one who is a bricklayer gets jobs every day and it got to a point where he can even build a house for someone without being too uni. So you could see there's a lot of opportunities between all of these things. So please do not segregate each other. At, at all time, we all need each other. So don't create class. Oh, I'm here, I, I live there, I'm master's degree holder. Listen, you don't need those things. You don't need, you, all, all of you need to love each other. Make friends and those of you who have not been able to go to uni or you don't have the money don't shy away don't feel inferior don't feel like you can't stand your mates because they've been to uni no you just still need to communicate intelligently you need to you know address yourself with respect with love you know present yourself don't don't shy away don't don't look yourself don't kill yourself before you've been killed never never do that to yourself so try to present yourself you know project yourself better like you've you've known each other before even if the guy is trying to show off you know respectfully talk to him like come on you you i know you you study but we can still be friends we need each other you need me and all of that thing so like i've given you guys example we need each other at some point and if not careful at all points so I would like to help you guys talk about what you guys can do around you. Many of you feel like, oh, I've um, I studied. Let me give an example. I I met with one of my students who did um, physical education, and he ended up not having a job. He was teaching, and I said, you know what? What can you? What can you train people with? What can you teach? And he said to me, I can teach people how to swim. I said, why not just pay for a swimming section, like a swimming pool, get it paid, write schools, and get people together and start training them. Because most of these schools don't have swimming pools. So you could write them and start giving them a, a swimming lesson. And now he's doing it. To my surprise, a few months ago, he called me that he just bought his first car. Could imagine. So, if you have any problem, give me a call and I will be with you. So, please, and those of you who are sharing my video, kudos. I love you guys. I do appreciate you guys so 
so much yeah go on my facebook go on my youtube share it subscribe to my youtube educator freak and email me on educatorfreak at gmail.com or if you want to go on my website www.educatorfreak.com so expect me live talk next saturday and the saturday after yeah so follow me i love you guys and be good remember no segregation we all need each other at some point be good bye bye